You got proof you're not the biological father? Fuck you. Pay me. She stole your used condom and used it to get pregnant? Fuck you. Pay me. Broke your back and can't work? Fuck you. Pay me. She raped you when you were 13 and now wants you, the victim, to pay child support? Fuck you. Pay me. What we've created here is a paternity racket that runs like the mafia. The state steals from men and gives to women, skimming its share off the top. As long as the money is good and the women's vote is largely monolithic, no one is going to hear anything about all the suffering innocents, failed prisons, crime, and failed lives. And of course, a big part of the problem is men, too. And I'm not just talking about the ones who sit by quietly while all this shit happens. I'm talking about the countless sycophants out there who nod approvingly or clap hands every time someone regurgitates the latest round of crap, idealizing single mothers like they are an asset to society and a role model for young women. All they can do is write checks and watch their children go downhill. If you want to hold it against those guys when they check out, feel free. I'm not joining you, because whether they check out or not, their children are still subject to the same risks, the same harrowing statistics as the fathers who dog it out and settle for the crumbs that the ex allows him to have. There are only two things in my mind that are going to make this situation any better. One, single motherhood needs to be stigmatized on a level somewhere in between pedophilia and a case of leprosy. Two, and this is a particularly sad fact, the only people who are in any way likely to create that stigma is married mothers and childless women. That is not very likely, but it is infinitely more likely than blue pill men doing it.